so geology as i have marked the word here geo in red and logy in green so geology if we break the word into two parts it is geo plus logy so geo here means soil rock or earth and what do you understand by logy logy is nothing but the science applied to soil rock or earth as far as the definition goes we can say the definition as the sciences that deal with one or more aspects of the earth as a planet are grouped together as earth science so geo earth logos means science so earth science is nothing but geology it is also the science that deals with the study of earth as a whole then why should we study earth as a planet yes we should study earth as a planet because we all live here happily and we have to keep our earth happy so that we will always be happy throughout our life okay so what we are going to study here for earth as a planet we will be studying about its origin its age and its structure okay so when we say we will be studying about its origin what points will be covering here we will be covering hypothesis hypothesis means what these are the thesis or these are the study material or these are the researches done by the scientists previously right from the beginning of earth that is evolution of earth then we will be studying about the continental drift theory continents as you all know that there are seven continents in this world so how these continents were formed what was the drift that occurred these things were studied by a scientist called as webener so those theories we will be studying then we will be studying about paleomagnetism plate tectonics yes we will be also studying about the age of the earth we say that the age of the earth is more than 4500 billion years so how to find this age we find this age by radioactivity so what is this radioactivity we will be studying in this unit number 1 also we will be studying about the internal structure of the earth then moving to the next slide the contents that we will be studying in this slide is evolution that i already told you modification and extinction evolution means what evolution is the changes that are were occurring on the surface of the earth below the surface of the earth due to many factors such as temperature pressure heat all these things will be there in evolution modification mean what modification means the changes those were occurring regularly due to this evolution and extinction extinction means what the modifications which were there the changes which were occurring on a place but now those are not there those have been diminished those will be studying about what about surface and subsurface features so which are the features mountains plateaus plains valleys basins caves coastal marine and submarine forms these things will be studying then deals with the material making up the earth now what are the materials those make up the earth that also we will be studying such as atmosphere lithosphere hydrosphere and biosphere okay so considered this geological sciences are also considered as fundamental basic sciences like physics chemistry biology physics chemistry and biology all the three sciences are involved while studying engineering geology then moving to the next slide the here we'll be discussing about the branches of geology as you know that every subject every uh, topic has many branches if we classify them properly we will be able to learn the topics in a better manner so when we say branches of geology the first branch of geology is called as physical geology this physical geology is what it is the structural deposition of rock bodies means what rock bodies are formed here structurally and huge bodies of water and ice also form other specific subjects in physical geology so here basically we will be studying about the action of 
rock bodies water bodies and ice bodies so rock bodies are nothing but mountains and the surface water bodies are nothing but the study of rivers oceans ice bodies is nothing but the study of glaciers these things we will be discussing in physical geology then it also deals with the internal agents internal agents means what the agents which we cannot see which are below the surface such as volcanism and earthquake then external agents external agents means what we can observe them we can feel them which are above the surface such as wind water ice and atmosphere okay then second branch is geomorphology again this word we can split into two that is geo plus morphology geo already told you geo means rocks soil or earth now what do you understand by morphosis morphosis is the constant change that is occurring with regards to rocks soil or earth and logy is the science related to those factors okay so geomorphology so geomorphology it is defined as the study of the features of the earth surfaces mainly the land like mountains plains plateaus valleys and basins so here you can specifically see that this is again a part of physical geology but here we will be only studying about the land surfaces like mountains plains plateaus valleys and basins okay then next is next branch of geology is mineralogy so its name it itself indicates minerals are present here so there are many types of minerals present on the surface of the earth okay so how can we define this mineralogy we can define this mineralogy as it deals with the formation occurrence aggregation properties and uses of minerals crystallography branch of mineralogy next branch is petrology it deals with the formation of various types of rocks their mode of occurrence their composition structure geological and graphical distribution of rocks so it is again subdivided into three branches paleogeography paleontology and stratigraphy the next branch is economic geology it deals with the study of minerals and rocks which can be exploited for the benefits of man so these include ores those are iron aluminium and copper and second one non ores those includes building stones rock salt coal petroleum and natural glass then in addition to these branches there is geochemistry geophysics geohydrology mining geology i have highlighted engineering geology so what is engineering geology it deals with the interaction between civil engineering practices and geologists okay so here we have to apply the knowledge of geology while constructing the civil engineering structures like dams bridges roads railways and our residential or commercial buildings why because we are going to lay the foundation on the hard strata and hard strata is nothing but the rock and what type of rock it is what are the problems in the rocks that all things we will be studying in engineering geology next branches are rock mechanics geomechanics meteorology and oceanography then engineering geology so easy may be defined as that branch of applied sciences which deals with the application of geology for a these are the factors why we are going to apply geology in engineering so structure should be safe structure should be stable economical in design and construction of civil engineering projects these things we have to keep in mind while designing the structure then scope of engineering geology so basic objects are of twofold first is that it enables a civil engineer to understand implications of certain conditions to the area of construction which are essentially geological in nature it means what we are going to lay the foundation on the hard strata so which type of rock is present there is there any crack present is ground water present over there such things we will be studying there then 
second it also enables a geologist to understand nature of geological information which is absolutely essential for a safe design and construction of civil engineering project then the major activities of a professional civil engineering are construction job water resource development town and regional planning so when it is a heavy construction job so which are the construction features dams and reservoirs towers tanks highways and bridges traffic and hydro power tunnels embankments and retaining structures lining of canals laying of drainage pipes etc so we need to have a clear idea about the site planning design and construction so while planning we need to understand about the topographic maps hydrological maps and geology design is very much important as we need to study about the mechanical properties of rocks such as compression strength shear strength transverse strength modulus of elasticity permeability and resistance to construction we need to check the quality of construction materials like sand gravels rocks and soil then when we are studying geology in regards to water resource development water is very necessary so water cycle is taken into consideration that is evaporation of water from hydrosphere its precipitation in form of rain and snow and again it what flows back to the lakes and seas and oceans so it depends upon the surface and subsurface last but not the least geology in town planning so town planning is one of the important departments so as a town planner it is concerned with landscape and its utilization so maximum benefits with minimum disturbance to natural environment is his motto responsibilities of civil engineer so what a civil engineer should understand before construction planning design and maintenance so he should know about geological mapping he should know about exploration project planning hydrological surface water maps hydrogeological maps slope stability landslides landslips hydro hydraulic structures that is dams and reservoirs seismic hazards means related to earthquakes and last environmental impact assessment when we say geology in other fields so he also helps us in land devolution evaluation means what to determine the cost of that land oceanography oceanography means what what are the things related to geology present inside the ocean and last is space exploration for nuclear explosions see many a times there comes a news that a meteorite is going to hit the earth so that meteorite is nothing but a type of rock so it has had 